Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 46 of my Talons LP. My goal for this episode is to clear dungeon level 14 and completely conquer it and clear it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do down here is something I'm just kind of curious about. Uh, I have, let's see, uh, zones? I've got a red arena badger. Uh, he is, he's back up here. Um... Yeah, he's just chilling right here. And I'm kind of wondering if these guys will fight enemies. And if so, if I can use them as essentially guard dogs. So my plan, I want to find out, is I'm going to make an arena right down here. And if I unpause the game, can I just build a bunch of badgers down here, essentially? Uh, I believe they are under decoration. Yes. So, oh, for this we do need to have a bunch of badgers. Uh, well, let's just try it. Let's build a few down here. Um, badger or wild badger. So let's see if it'll let me just build a bunch of arena badgers down here. Uh, now, actually, my food production is... Let me go check on my raw meat production here. Yeah, let me tone down that badger meat, because I don't need... Whoops. Uh, I don't need that much of it. We'll keep uh, 75 on hand, I guess. So they'll st hopefully stop uh, annihilating all the poor badgers that come out of the uh, badger pen here. Uh, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. kind of wondering sometimes uh, why the game won't let me click to cancel something. Uh, it seems to kind of put up, put up a fight about it. Like you think it would just go down immediately, but it kind of resists it. Uh, like if I click once. Oh, now as soon as I say something, it, it starts cooperating, of course. Okay, yeah, stop. There we go. Huh, weird. It, uh, you ever, do you ever go to, have you ever gone to uh, show someone something? Like, oh, oh, come look at this thing. It's it's happening. And as soon as they come over, whatever it is stops. And you just look stupid. Uh, that, that has to have happened to other people besides me. But that's that's what I felt like right then. It's just like, why doesn't this work? And then... As soon as I try to go, you know, show it off, it, it works fine. Typical. Okay. Um, so, well, I guess they'll get around to that. Uh, there's no way to really rush that. I've just kind of got to wait. Uh, so I'm ready to come down here with my townspeople. And we've got awesome McBadass is going to be a guards group. I'll just let them... Well, maybe I should set up a patrol. Now, nah, I'll let them be a guards group and have them be ordered to come down here. Uh, so heroes need to come down to level 14 now. Okay, now I've been buying, I've been keeping an eye out for these leather armors of uh, various qualities from the, the merchants, and I make sure to buy them uh, whenever I see them. Uh, just I'll buy all of them that I can, even the basic leather ones. Uh, and I think one of these people has like a leather ogreite armor. That's an extra two. That's an extra two thousand defense, and she's got a head crusher. So uh, this rogue's got decent, some decent stats now, I guess. Uh, now some guys like this guy right here, Francis Bacon. Uh, he's got. I, I bought this fire breastplate, so apparently he has fire aura and fire resistant, which is pretty cool. And he's got some iron armor, and then he's got a head crusher. So he's actually got seven thousand. 7,700 attack, 5,800 defense, and 37 damage, as well as a stun attack, blunt resist, fire resist, fire aura, and apparently an attack aura. Uh, so that's a that's a pretty solid hero right there. I'm hoping at least these knights, these specifically these two well-geared knights with the gold weapons and the mix of various types of ite armors will uh, come down here and do well at clearing. Um also have this rogue here with ogreite armor and one of those lightning weapons. So 
Um, oh, there's the guy with the fire armor right there, I think. That's him, right? Uh, yeah, it's the only knight that has a head crusher. That's him right there. So I want to see this uh, fire armor in action. So I'm going to watch. I'm going to pick this guy to just watch. I want to see what happens. Um, well, that's not going to really put the heroes to the test. Yeah, come on, get in there. Come on, Francis Bacon. Use your knowledge. It's powerful. Get in, get in there. Get in there. Come on. Well, something's killing something somewhere. Aw, oh, now, now the rogue's gonna get in there. I don't care about watching the rogue. I wanna watch this guy fight. Man, what a jip. We got an elven archer. Alright, so they're clear in the level here. They got one of these Hitler mustache zombies. Uh, ooh, that's a bad room, and you don't really have that great of equipment. Although the enemies here aren't all that powerful. Except for the snicker here. Yeah. Gotta kind of watch out for him. Oh, no, check that out. She, uh, she did the confusion bomb for her friend to come in here and while they're confused just get in here and fight them although she's that thing's got 4,000 defense and this person has only 2,000 attack so if my math is right I think that's about a 25% chance to hit per turn um, uh, got another fight going where's the uh, fire guy at no oh, he's heading back out blarg 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 I really wanted to see what that fire aura did. I was hoping to be able to watch him. Okay, I think it's safe to... Well, it might not be safe, I don't know. But, who cares? Let's just go ahead and allow level 14 hauling, and that'll get all my citizens down here uh, grabbing the stuff. Ooh, actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Let's hold off on that, because I want the heroes to be able to pick up the stuff that they find without my he uh, citizens taking it all. I just thought of that. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out a way to like get stuff equipped, and I I might try making the I had this equipment group down here, equipment delivery group, and I put like a guy in it, and then sent him, and then forced him to take off the equipment and drop it in the path of the heroes, and they kind of ignored it. So maybe I have to put it in the market or in a tavern. I I think it might be the right idea, but it's I just have to tweak it a little bit. Oh, a Cyclops just went down. I think it looks like one wave of that uh, command went through and they came down here anyway. Oh, what, what hit? What got hit? Oh, ooh! Oh, that is a nasty room. All right, let me pause and take a look. Oh, that's one of the... Uh, that's one of the knight heroes, I think, right? Looks like a knight from the side. And then this person's got... They, they're they not very well equipped. And that cave troll and that stone golem look pretty, pretty beastly. Ooh, that vampire is tough looking, too. So Bryce Goucher, what type of hero is he? Is he this guy? Yeah. You know, even with just that curved sword, he's got a ton Wow, he's got so much HP. Oh, he took out the vampire. Oh, the, uh, there goes the confusion attack from the rogue. That'll help the knight be able to fight these guys. Uh, I'm kind of surprised the knight hasn't taken a hit from that cave troll yet. Or the stone golem. They're both... They both have uh, pretty... Decent attack values. Wow. I'm really surprised that... I thought that knight was going to die. Because he doesn't have all... He's only got a curved blade. Jeez. Now, if he's doing that well, imagine how well that this knight with the, the head crusher is going to be. I mean, that's going to be... He's going to be really tough, I think. And I built a tavern down here... Um, 
I'm not really sure why. I thought if I built some dormitory beds, like the citizens would sleep in these beds instead of going all the way back up if they needed to, if they needed to sleep. So, yeah, but I don't know if they actually do. And what's this? Leather snickerite armor. Hmm. And I thought I'd, I did turn off the... Yeah, it's level 12. So we're still picking up residual people who I suppose had orders queued up. And I haven't been able to quite stop them just yet. Hmm. Well, let's speed up the game a bit. And uh, hopefully get these heroes coming back down here faster. Oh, there's a head crusher rogue. Maybe she'll discover something here. Oh, come on, get in there. Why? Um... Oh, she's oh, she's choosing this way. <gasps> Ooh, pause the game. What is that? A berserker troll. Another berserker troll. Hitler the zombie. That's a lot of defense on him. Goblin leader. Okay, Siku the wolf, a named wolf there. Well, let's see how well Beatrix does here. Smack, 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 smack. Yeah, wolf went down, no problem. Now she's got a problem. Uh, what's going on in the combat log? Oh! She got one-shotted, I think. Oh, at least the head crusher lived. Um... Oh, here's the elven hero coming down here to uh, try to pick off some of the enemies. Well, as long as she stays at range, out of their aggro range, uh, she might be okay. Although, her defense is completely pathetic. So, yeah, she had to run off because she's getting hit too much. Oh, whoa, pause. What did I lose? I lost a hero. Uh, was it the hero with the... No, it wasn't. What was it? Probably one of the... Ro no, it was that barbarian dude. They're, they're worthless. Yep. What is that? Gascon? Gaston the ghoul? Eh. Maybe he's giving Quasimodo some trouble. Oh, lightning spear rogue. Yeah, gonna smack. Just smack that zombie. Probably get this Hitler mustache guy. Lightly wounded. Oh, two rogues now. No, that's a nasty room, and so is this one, actually. I'd really like... I want to rescue that, that head crusher right there. That's really valuable, and I want that back. And I'm glad it wasn't, you know, poofed into non-existence by uh, the item stack system. Uh, now, how should I go about getting that back? Hmm... I think I'll make these guys a patrol group, and I think I'll add a patrol point right here for them. Nope. I made you a patrol group. Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. Add patrol point, also make badass, get down there. So I can dispatch those guys, and oh, there's the gold spear knight. Now, he's pretty geared out, so let's see how he handles the uh, Berserker Troll here. Dead. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, it's a nasty room. But hopefully with that Golden Spear, yeah, he has 8,000 attacks, so he should be reliably hitting uh, the enemies in here. Even this... Maybe this vampire, he's probably got a 50-50 chance of getting that vampire. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Oh, they got him. Oh, he got... Alright, we still have the gold spear, at least. You know that gold spear is not that great, compared to some of the other weapons in the game. It's pretty mediocre as far as gold that goes. Okay, so here we have... Here comes Awesome McBadass into the, the problem room here. Now, this guy has got that mask on, and it's made him kind of beastly. His defense isn't very good, but he has a really high attack and damage. Oh, there he goes. Let's see how he handles the 
Now, he might die just because his defense is so low that he's going to take hits. Oh, no. He got lucky. Let me pause. Uh, oh, dang, I can't see. All right, so he's okay. Let's try adding a patrol point over there and get them to go in there. I wish the the berserker bear guy needs to not go up first because he'll get he'll get kaplooied by yeah that four thousand attack. I'll swing at his two thousand defense and and hit him pretty easily. Oh, we lost somebody. Uh, let me check the combat log and see what happened there. Uh oh, the berserker troll just one shotted somebody. Oh, it was Isabel. The I think I remember her. She she's one of like the people that I think was in like the silver armor or something. One of my not gold people, pretty much. Uh, what is that? That's an ogre. Wow! Look at his defense. 10,000. He's going to be hard to hit. Although it looks like we got somebody got a hit in on him there. That ghoul's got a lot of attack. Oh, he took a hit from somebody. It was pretty big. Uh... Can't land a hit. Come on. Got him. Okay, also McBadass cleared that room pretty well. I think I can recall them now. They've done their job. Uh, I'll take off the patrol points and let them head back to base and heal up. There we go. Now they should be able to head back. I think I can just... Actually, you know... Uh, they changed it so that the patrol points, check this out, like if I put a patrol point down here for Awesome McBadass, and I come up here, and there's the patrol point right there, if I change them into a guard group, it poofs, it gets rid of the patrol points. I really like that change, that's, that's very nice. I don't think the game used to do that. Um, so that's, that's really welcome. Alright, I can speed the game back up a little bit. Uh, because I slowed it down just to watch the combat. Maybe he'll auto-equip some of this stuff. That's what I'm kind of hoping is like some heroes will come in here and, and see like, ooh, look at all this cool stuff we can equip. And I think if I just... Eventually, the heroes would just keep coming, and even if I lost heroes, they'd eventually clear the entire level without me having to do too much. Hmm. There are enemies clearly like the uh, that ogre with 10,000 defense. That would be very, very difficult to hit. Uh, so as long as my he as long as the heroes can pick up some weapons, some decent weapons to use. That is a nasty room right there. As long as they land hits and slowly work the monsters down and kill them, uh, it's not as much a concern to have them have some defense so they can live because new heroes will just come. Oh, hey, check it out. I got uh, got my arena badgers down here. I have no idea if they'll fight or not, but I'm just kind of curious to see. Although, to get them to fight, uh, they'd have to come back. The monsters would have to come back. Uh, here comes somebody with a curved blade. I don't think she's going to do too much. She might even die here. Yeah, she's going to run away. Yeah, I didn't think you'd actually land hits with that little curved blade. No, just, that was leather. Hold on a second, let me pause. You got uh, you got leather armor, and that's leather snickerite armor with fifteen hundred defense. Why didn't you? She like she walked right over that, but didn't pick it up. I guess it's because you're fleeing, and they only do stuff at certain certain times. But that's kind of how it went with the uh, me leaving weapons in their path with the equipment delivery scheme they just, just just kind of ignored them and they didn't pick up any of it and I was like oh, oh here comes the elven archer to back up this uh, the wimpy knight who's still actually do accomplishing things knights seem yeah knights seem like pretty good heroes I haven't seen any wizards in a while I think I'm all, all I have is just rogues and knights pretty much and <laughs> 
and the elven archer. Uh... Yeah, that elven archer. Yeah, that that archer really needs a tank up front to help her help her shoot stuff. Hey, hey, she's dragging the enemies back into the uh the area here. Maybe they'll get in a fight with the badgers. We'll see if the badgers attack or ignore them. I'm really curious about that. I want to see if the Badgers actually do something. The thing is, I actually think their stats might be kind of weak. Oh yeah, we'll definitely get to see the Badgers. No! No! No, the Badgers! I want to see the... Argh! No! No, I want to see the Badgers fight. You're going to kill everything... Oh my god, you're going to... You're so close! <sighs> you stupid bitch. I wanted to see the Badgers fight. You ruined everything. I should kill you with lava. Oh, that's right. I can't do that. God damn it. Stupid heroes. Stupid, stupid heroes. I just, just want to see the badgers fight. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, come, come. Get over here. Get over here, guys. Uh, is there any heroes here? I don't see anything. All right, come on. All right, you don't come this way. Yeah, you go north. Yes. Yes, they're coming. Hang it. No! Oh, hey, the fire guy. We'll get to see him fight, at least. All right, I want to slow down the lowest speed, because I actually want to see uh, the log here. So, Sneaky Ghoul... Are you Ulrich? No, you're Francis, Francis Bacon. That's right. All right. Dang. That go These ghouls are going to get killed in one hit. You watch. All right, Francis Bacon takes a hit for 650. He misses the ghoul. He gets hit again. Misses. He gets hit again. Wow. All right, yeah, he one-shot it. Yeah, he one-shot that guy, too. He hit for 3780. I didn't see any... Uh... Um... I don't see any um, fire damage. Now, it says he has a flame aura. And I also didn't see the Badgers join in the fight, so I don't know if they actually... I think I can delete the arena. So I don't I don't think they actually will help. But he, what I was going to say is that uh, even if they... Even if they did help, I'm not sure that they'd really be worth it. I think they might have 200 HP or something like that. Like, their, their combat stats are actually pretty low. I think. I wish this the fire guy would go into this room here. That stupid barbarian just just died. Oh 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 oh. Hmm. Well, at least I have a lot of badgers badgers down here. That's that's cool, right? <sighs> oh, do we get a combat? Oh, something. One of my heroes killed something. Ooh, hey, new room is opening up. Oh, we got a big fight going on here. Oh man, what were you armed with? The trickster? Ah, it's not a good weapon. Yeah, it's sixteen hundred attack and fourteen hundred damage is not really. I mean, yeah, it's a unique weapon and it it probably has a it has that confusing attack. But what are these things? Nexi the Snicker Edge. Name Snickers. Berserker Troll. Uh, Gascon. Yep. That's a scary room. Hmm. Where is... Oh, another combat going on. What is this? Oh, she's going to run away. Yep, there she goes. Oh, wait, no, come, coming back? Huh, weird. You better run. You're going to get one-shotted by one of these things. What are you doing? Okay, you killed that. Now you need to get out of here. You're going to take one hit from that ogre thing, and then... Oh, good, yes. Tra I'm actually kind of happy she's training all that back to my base, because I, I kind of want to see it... Uh, see it run into all my traps. Or the badgers. Badgers would be fine. Ooh, 
Gonna fight the Shock Rogue with the Lightning Spear. Uh, now that right there is pretty intimidating. That is the Ogre with 9,000 defense, and then one of these Golem things with lots of HP is what he's got. And he's also got pretty well-rounded stats. Probably going to kill the Lightning Spear person, if I had to guess. Although she's got... Come on. Ah, damn it. Yeah... Uh, my badgers did nothing. They did just eat some damage from the traps, though. And they're running right into these traps, too. And now they're bleeding and getting stopped in the trap room. But between the heroes coming back down through the maze... And all the uh, various traps I have here, I'd, I'd be really surprised if a, if one of these monsters actually got it got back to my base. Yeah! And you're dead. Now I'm not sure. Are they are they gonna keep chasing, or are they gonna start wandering around inside this? Uh, trap maze here. That's kind of what I'm curious about. Because they got in a fight and now they don't have a target, so I think they're just going to keep wandering around in the maze here. Until a hero comes and, well, kills them. Yeah, I mean, they're just standing around in the trap, slowly dying. It's kind of funny. I don't think this rogue's going to get them. I'm pretty sure all he has is a curved blade. Oh, he's got leather zombite armor. When you die, please drop the zombite armor. Did you? Nope, I just lost that zombite armor. I got the curved blade, though. I don't care about... I don't give a damn about that thing. See, that's annoying, because I can't manufacture the, the leather armor for the rogues, because I don't have any cotton or sheep yet. And... And because it doesn't stack, I just it just vanishes from existence. I, I got the curved blade though, but I don't give a damn about that thing. That's a sucky weapon. Um and what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Hauling? Oh, were you coming for the yeah, this is level ten, so you would come to uh well, you're dead too. You're gonna get like one bl Oh, this is gonna you know, I know what's gonna happen now. Uh also, McBadass is going to be summoned, I think, is what's going to happen. I would assume. Yep, here they come. They're going to come kill that guy. Uh, yep, there he goes. Oh, that looks... That looks very... Are you serious? That's what the stone golem drops, is stone? Really? For as tough as they are, that's their drop? Uh, that's... Um, grumble, 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 grumble. Stone? Really? I mean, I, I, it makes sense, yeah, but... It, well, maybe, maybe they have a drop table and they can drop uh, possibly other things, like... Any type of ore would be nice. So you have a chance for silver or gold off them. That'd be cool. Oh, did I pause the game accidentally? Oh, no, I didn't. It's fine. Okay, Miss Lightning Rogue, what are you going to do? This is taking longer than I thought. I thought I thought I could do this in one episode. Hmm. I think I will. I think I will go ahead and uh, keep keep playing until the entire... Uh, level is clear and if something really interesting happens I'll resume recording and show it off otherwise I'll just skip ahead till when uh, this level of the dungeon is finally clear 
So if a really cool fight happens, um, I'll show it. Otherwise, just assume that it's probably heroes gradually killing things little by little until the whole dungeon is clear. And you've already seen a lot of that happen this episode already. So I don't want to show you like a, an hour, an entire hour of like the exact same type of fights going on. So now that you've seen a lot of fights already, I'm just going to sk skip ahead now. So I'll see you guys if something interesting happens or uh, when the level is clear. Okay, fight number one, we have Garen, who's going to spin to win versus a vampire. Uh, went ahead, I'm trying to mine to expose more of the level and uh, cut down on the pathfinding here. So here they go. Uh, vampire's hanging on by a thread. He already took one really bad hit, I think, from John here. Oh, and Garen puts him down. We have a sneaky ghoul. Who's, oh, we lost a... Uh, Garen's friend just died. I don't know who that was. Uh, it wasn't actually, I think it was a normal citizen, because she just dropped a bone sword. Sneaky Ghoul's putting up a fight. John, John and, uh, John and Garen are holding on. That Ghoul's got 667 damage. Oh, John took a bad hit. He's down to, uh, 101 HP. That Ghoul's 7,000 defense is, ooh! Ooh, I think we we may have just lost one of our awesome McBadass guys. I think we lost a... Uh, yeah, we just lost one of the silver armors. Let's see if Garen can uh, put this ghoul down here. Let me uh, oh, let me pause real fast and get rid of these. Uh, no. Stupid samurai helmet. Get out of here. There we go. Oh. How's Garen doing? We have a lot of people here fighting this ghoul. Oh, we lost a gold armor guy. I think that's my first awesome McBadass uh, in gold armor that went down. Yep, Garen, he couldn't spend a win on that one. So, he's going back to... Uh, he probably needs to go back to uh, top lane and, and stay out of mid. Uh, dang, this ghoul. I'm telling you. Uh... Iron Greaves. Let's destroy those and make sure that we have enough room on the floor to uh, to pick up anything that gets dropped. There we go. Man, this ghoul's just... Oh, somebody hit him. That 7,000 defense is tough. Uh, and none of... Alright, we got it. That was, a, that was a tough fight. We actually lost some awesome McBadass in there. Uh, and I think the gold armor guy is the guy with the plague bringer. Now the plague bringer does not have all that much attack or damage compared to something like a head crusher, uh, but it does attack multiple enemies on the same tile. However, that's not exactly what we really needed to be going for right there. So, um. Looks like the uh, townies are coming in and hauling off, already hauling off that gold armor. Uh, and they're mining out. Alright, I'll, uh... Okay, so that was the first interesting fight. I'll see you guys if there's a second one. Okay, fight number two is townies in... Uh... What, well, we have one of these clown people. I don't get that. It sold the clown Renold. From managed group and from managed group. Trying to auto-equip, apparently. They actually have uh, reasonable stats. This person's already taken one hit. Uh, let's see how they do. They'll probably go down, I expect. But let's see if they can kill the... Yeah, we lost that ghoul. Lost the ghoul. And uh, may have actually beat the ghoul. That cave troll right there coming in. That berserker troll who's mortally wounded. Uh, took my guys down. That's a really tough enemy. Ooh. I think we quickly lost two people from the hauling group. But that's okay. We can have, uh... They're just mostly wearing iron gear, which is renewable, so I'm okay losing them. Uh... Get, rid of, get out of here, Bones.
Is a zombie? Got the zombie. Okay. Alright, so we lost a few townies there, but uh, more townies came and beat them. Ooh! There's another 9,000 defense dude. Ooh, what was that? We lost Bryce. Oh, some random guy. Uh, I want to go see the uh, lightning person fight. Oh, she took a hit. Oh! Oh no, where'd the lightning go? Get out of here, you stupid corpse. Where'd your lightning go? She lost it. Great. God damn it. There goes another 20,000 gold down the shitter. Oh, that's so frustrating. I hate that. It dropped. Her, of course, it dropped the corpse, but not the actual lightning. Uh, and for some reason, these people aren't dead yet. Why aren't you guys dead yet? Why are you? You almost seem to be winning. I don't quite get it. Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you have died by now? There you go. Just go ahead and explode. You'll get one... As soon as this guy hits you, you'll get one-shotted. Like, what are you... Huh. I'm kind of surprised they're actually winning. But if you make enough attacks, if you poke at something enough, I guess you can win. Oh, we got an oh, we got an ogreite helmet. Yeah, that's that's not worth the lightning that I I lost getting that. Huh. Now we have another Hitler zombie. Yeah, that town's person right there is dead. Um. Hmm. Maybe I should get uh, Awesome McBadass. Yeah, there's still a patrol group. I'll send them in here. Get in here. They should be able to handle these guys. Although we do have a... Uh, do have a hero coming in. Along with extra extra people. Man, this room has been costly. I want to say these people here should have it. And he dropped a Snickerite breastplate. That's kind of cool. Eh, it's okay-ish. Man, that ghoul has so much defense. He's hard to hit. They just kind of... He doesn't have that much health. So, as long as they just get lucky and... Because I think no matter what the defense is, I, I think... Uh, I think the, the wiki said you always have at least a 5% chance to hit. So if a bunch of townies make a bunch of attacks, it'll, uh... They'll get him. Especially if he doesn't have much HP. I'm kind of surprised this guy's still alive. With only his 2,000 defense, I thought he would have gotten killed by now. Okay, well, maybe I should have sent Awesome McBadass in from the start. I guess I can try to manually explore with them like this. Come on. Get down there. Ooh, hello. Get in there, guys. What are you guys doing? Stop standing on that. Get in there. Help him. Idiots. Yeah, Joffrey's only got 700 HP. There goes that wolf. Oh, okay. Looks like that room. We got that room. I'll, uh... Put them back to guard group. And that, that I love how that deletes all the patrol points. I like that feature. That's a good change. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Looks like we're, we're, we secured that area. Good. Okay. Skipping ahead. Okay. We have Awesome McBadass versus a dangerous room. <clears throat> First one on the scene is my beast guy. Who... As long as he doesn't get hit, should do pretty good. Keyword there, not get hit. 
He's up against some ghouls and hobgoblins. Alright, got those guys. Yeah, come here and get this almighty ogre because you actually have enough attack to hopefully hit this thing from time to time. Come on. The uh, tip, the normal townie was tanking for you. Oh, now they've targeted you. He's probably going to go down because, the, yeah, they're going to land hits on him. And he has, like, no defense. Oh, here comes another awesome McBadass guy. Let me pause the game and get rid of some of this crap off the ground. It's stupid iron. There we go. I don't want that head crusher to, to be lost if that person... Okay, there it is. Good. Head crusher is more important than the actual person. Damn it. My group of soldiers is actually just kind of trickling in here uh, one at a time. I kind of wanted them to come as a group, but they're not. <sighs> oh, she's trying. Come on, hang in there. Whom's almost down? Now, here comes the rest of the group. Is back. Finally, you guys, about time you guys got here. Come on, take them down, take them down. There we go. Get them all attacking. All right, good. There's a knight. There's that fire breastplate I brought. Uh, we're going to have... Uh, oh, hey, there's Joseph Stookley. So Joseph Stookley versus... Now, here's the crappy thing is that... Well, if that ogre actually hit Joseph, he'd die in one hit. Because, I mean, the damage is more than his max HP. Whoa. That's a lot of guys right there. Uh, there goes Schlickly. He's gonna rock in there and kill the... kill the slimes. I think I'll, while they're under the effect of the confusion attack, I'll send in the rest of my guys. Hopefully they'll, they'll kill them while uh, they're confused and they can't fight back effectively. That's my goal, anyway. Come on. Yeah, get that lightning spear in there. Oh, wow. She died. Was that one of my people with the head crusher? I'm not sure. Damn. What's in there? Oh, it's another whom. Stupid ogres in there. 11,000 defense. Damn. That's a lot of uh, defense. Wow. Well, one problem is that my guys... Let me switch them back to guards. Uh, we lost some of the random people that had, like, better than normal armor, but not in the, you know, silver range. We still have Milan and Stukli and the Beast guy. And we still have some of the other silver armor guys that have the gold weapons and the head rushers. Um, so basically, we still have the best of Awesome McBadass. The people we've lost have been not quite as good. That's going to be a problem room. What we really need is Awesome McBadass to get in there all at once and not trickle in like they did. But it's such a long way. I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue my plan to... Um, Where's the path down I was building? There it is. Yes, right there I'm making a pathway down. That goes directly down, because I'm not worried about the stuff coming back up, really. Uh, even if it did, it's not gonna... It's gonna be like a handful of enemies. And they're tough, yeah, but they're not gonna wipe out my entire town. Um, so I'm not as... I'm really worried about that. Uh, so, yeah, let's speed up the game again now that the combat is over. And... Uh, I'll connect this and make a, a quick way down. And then I can... Hopefully that'll cut down the uh, travel time down to the dungeon a lot. And that'll speed my guard response time. And just make it a little easier to get down here. Okay, uh, next fight is a massive zerg of miners versus a... Who, another another whom, the almighty ogre. Uh, oop, lost one. This is uh, one of those cases where hopefully they'll make a bunch of attacks against them and uh, just... Well, yeah, there you go. Overwhelm them right there. Uh, did they get them? 
and then the rest of the enemies fall pretty fast. And, yeah, I lost, you know, a random iron-equipped person, I think. Uh, so not a huge deal. Ooh, Cave Troll. Gonna fight. Cave Troll's got 3,500 defense, so my normal townies should be able to hit him okay. Uh, pretty damaging attack, though. <sighs> Looks like they're gonna handle it. Okay, good. And I noticed it got a lot easier to send people down when I, I completed the new... Aw, oh, they left her. She's gonna die to that. Yep. Yeah, she's gonna die to that ghoul. Um, I noticed it got a lot easier to send people down into the dungeon when I completed that, and their, their travel time got cut by a significant amount. Uh, what is this thing here? That's a ghoul. And as soon as the bear shows up, it dies. That bear, I cannot believe that bear is still alive. It's kind of funny. Uh, I thought with his little bit of defense, he'd, he'd have died by now, but he seems good at running away, at least. Well, now that that's opened up, I think I can come in with the, my mining command and mine the other way now, which is what I'm doing. And we'll mine to this side of the map and see what we find. And then I'll do... I'm basically going to do all four main directions. So that was north, and now we're going... S well, I guess... Tech well, no, we're going south. That was northeast, and now we're going south. Oh, wow, that mining noise. Oh, hold on. I can't... Ow. Oh, my ears. Yeah, let's turn that off for now. There we go. There we go. Uh, that mining noise, wow, is... Uh, that That's kind of a... When it's a lot of them, it's just that constant clacking. Actually, I wouldn't mind it in, in single player, but uh, because, uh, you know, I'm trying to record, uh, I don't want you guys to not be able to, to hear me because of all that constant clatter going on. Although now with it, with, with it off, if I was just doing the single player and not filming, I'd have it on right now, I think, probably. Unless I was listening to music. Actually, a lot of times when I'm playing Towns and i got to wait a while for something, some sort of command to go through, is uh, I'll... Uh, listen to music of various kinds. I really like, um, his name is Smooth McGroove. I tweeted his, uh, playlist. I think the tweet was like, click on this, you won't regret it, something like that. And if you're interested, just go follow me on Twitter and, and check that tweet out. Uh, or just Google search Smooth McGroove. Um, he does acapella music of, uh, mostly video game music. He's really good at it. Um, I was listening to some of his stuff while I was working on a, on a side project I got going on on Towns. Um, so, let's see, how's it, how are things going down here? Oh, we got to the end of this without any, any real incident, it looks like. Uh, alright, cool. Alright, so I guess I'll keep digging around. And I'll attempt to... I think I'll just go ahead and call this an episode here, even if uh, another big fight happens, just because it'll probably be sort of the same thing. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think I'll just do that, and I'll just finish clearing this, just because I don't want this to uh, drag on. I think I've gotten two episodes already on this dungeon level, and I'm ready to move on. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So thank you guys very much for watching. And I'm going to clear, finish clearing the rest of this dungeon level, no matter what it takes. And I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, take it easy.